Hello, I would like to talk to you about validation in the engine. First off, why do you even need to validate? Every now and then when you are creating your game, you get errors like this. Access none, trying to read properly something. This in general means that you are trying to use a variable that wasn't initialized properly. I created this example to show a different ways to do validation of variables. I have this event that sets a reference to the character movement component. This could be anything, spawned actor or widget is the perfect example where this would be used in a real life scenario. First way to validate is the isValidPure function. You get a boolean as a return and you can pass it into any logic like this branch over here. The way you get this is you drag from the variable and search for isValid and it's the function one. This is useful if you need uh, to perform multiple checks. Like over here, I'm checking if the variable is valid, if the correct can launch, and then I'm performing the action. Just be careful not to use anything that would be referencing the variable that you are validating, because this would result in an invalid call if the variable is not set properly. The second option is the isValid macro. This approach is similar to the one above, but combines the isValid function and branch into one node. The way you get this is you drag from the variable and you search for isValid. And you can plug it in and use it. Okay. The last option is the validated get. This is the most compact option of them all. It combines all three approaches, so this is the get variable. It's the isValid function and it's the branch in one node. The way you get this is you get a variable, right click on it and convert to validated get. Use this to save some space on your blueprint graphs and make it more compact and readable. You can also validate get something from a different actor. So I can drag from self, get movement reference, right click on it and convert to validated get. Also, also works. The disadvantage of this is you can't use it on a return values from a function. In that case, you need to go back to isValid macro or isValid function. In general, you should validate everything you can and handle the invalid state accordingly to pre prevent unexpected behavior in your games. There are a lot of validations already built in. I just search for is valid and you can validate almost anything you would like. Now let's get back to the example from the start. So you get this error. You click on the last node where it was reported and you see hey i'm on begin play i'm using this without actually checking if the movement reference is valid so i validate it plug it in compile and now if i play and stop the error goes away this of course doesn't mean that you did something that fixed it so you can print print an error message so you see hey this is where it went wrong and yeah you see the movement references invalid over there use this to save up your errors so you don't miss any important ones in the message log Okay, thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.